for me, the coolest thing about the Pizzaiolo is that this is now a way to do something that you couldn't do before unless you build a massive pizza oven out of bricks in your backyard. And not everyone can do that. I was reading the Modernist Cuisine books when they first came out and I noticed a couple of pages in that that were based on an experience from the Fat Duck Test Kitchen where they'd been trying to find a way to make a wood-fired style pizza in their restaurant without building a massive kiln. And I thought, well, that's pretty interesting. I think we could make a product that would do that in people's homes. The Neapolitan wood-fired style pizza uh, is the, it's the quintessential type of pizza. Traditionally very thin, minimal ingredients, very clean and pure pizza. Traditionally cooked at really high temperatures in a wood-fired oven and cooked very quickly. The elements that make up a wood-fired oven basically make it perform so well. For starters, maybe the bricks. Inside that oven, that fire is generating an awful lot of heat and those bricks are soaking it up and storing that energy. So when you go and place a pizza in, that brickwork can basically release all its energy into the pizza. For a commercial oven or a wood-fired oven to get to those sort of temperatures, it's a few hours of getting a fire in there, going and soaking all that energy into the oven. The whole thing's a kind of a slow process. There are pizza makers that are around at the moment that will do kind of an average job, but the limitation they all have is that none of them can get to the kind of temperatures and provide the kind of energy to the pizza itself to create wood-fired pizza. But we started experimenting with modifying ovens that we made, and we had limited success with that. After a bit of experimentation, trial and error, I decided to involve a couple of engineers and designers that work on kind of projects that are a little bit left field from the other projects that are running through the development group. So they set to work building something reasonably crude, but designed exactly to put the heat where you needed it. And they got that prototype to the point where they could make a pizza in under two minutes. So that was getting pretty exciting. As we worked through our different prototypes and testing and testing and testing, making so many pizzas every day, we experimented with where to put the heat and where to direct it. We've employed three Inkaloy heaters in our product. So rather than just having that go anywhere it wants to inside the cavity, we use heat shields or deflectors, and that's actually focusing that energy on specific areas of a pizza. The heat shield deflector was one of those sort of light bulb moments. It was a problem that we were facing for a long time. We basically weren't getting a pizza cooking fast enough or well enough using that amount of power. What that's doing is not only preventing the heat from getting to the part of the pizza you don't want to cook, but it's also making that heater more efficient in applying the heat where you do want it. So you end up with an even food result without needing to rotate your pizza during the cook cycle. The moving deck or the moving active deck that was basically solving an issue that, again, we created. One of the keys to the performance was by having the top elements close enough to the pizzas that you get these great leopard spots and all the sort of food characteristics you're after, but it meant having your deck so close to the elements it was actually kind of difficult to load. So by having a system that lowered the deck when you want it lowered and raised it up close to those elements when you want to cook was something we kind of tried to address and prototyped and developed. The Element IQ system is something I think everyone will appreciate. It takes a lot of the thinking and guesswork about how to cook a great pizza away because the oven's basically doing all that thinking for you behind the scenes. All you need to do is go and select the style of pizza you want to be cooking. The oven will then basically turn on different heaters that apply power where you want it without you even knowing about it. Basically people can enjoy this pizza at home without really understanding what's going on but you get a great pizza. With the Pizzaiolo, the main thing we were aiming to do was enable someone to cook a Neapolitan pizza, but we've gone further than that and allowed you to cook all sorts of styles of food. There's function on there specific for pan pizzas, New York style, which is really synonymous or iconic in the States, frozen pizzas, thin and crispy, which is your really thin bar style pizzas, but then you can go further than that. You can do focaccias, you know, with the right tuning, you can do flatbreads. It's great for doing different vegetables at really, really high temperatures, which you can't do at home. What excites me about the Pizzaiolo and the journey of it coming to life is you can do something you couldn't do before because that's opening up, you know, the possibilities for how you can entertain, how you can feed your family, the kind of variety of things that you can achieve in your own kitchen. And it's great to go out to a restaurant and have a wood-fired pizza, but it's kind of cool to be able to do that at home when you're not going out or invite friends over so that that's, you know, you're creating that 
that memory at home um, and sharing something with people.